Welcome to your first tutorial video in Singular. In five steps, you're gonna be on air with Singular overlays. You're gonna learn how to navigate to your dashboard, download a theme from the marketplace, open up this new theme into Studio, learn beginner's tips for operating overlays in Studio, and combine your overlays with your live or pre-recorded video in OBS. Step one is to navigate to your dashboard. Click on the link listed in the video description to open up your Singular dashboard, or you can simply navigate to app.singular.live slash dashboard. Next, go into your account folder. Step two is to download a theme from the marketplace. First, select an area within your account folder where you would like your new marketplace theme to live. Now open up the Singular Marketplace by selecting the New button in the upper left corner of the dashboard. Now we're going to click Singular Market. Take a second to browse all of the themes that we have available for download. Find something that will work best for your content. Once you've found the theme that you like, go ahead and click Download. Step three is to open up your Marketplace theme into Studio, the control application that you'll use to operate your live overlays. Do this by simply right-clicking on your new downloaded theme and hit Open With, and then choose Studio. Step four is to learn a few beginner's tips and tricks on how to operate overlays in Studio. Studio is a control application designed for easy overlay operation. The first thing you're going to do, now that you're in Studio, is load all of the overlays into the playlist panel. The easiest way to do this is to select the menu button in the upper right and choose Auto Playlist. This option generates an automatic playlist from all the overlays inside of this theme. Now that you have all of your overlays in a list within the playlist panel, you can go ahead and edit the contents. Do this by clicking on whatever overlay you want to edit, and then change the elements you wish to change in the overlay editor. Now that I've prepared my overlays to my liking, I'm ready to take my overlays live by clicking on the play buttons. There are more advanced studio operation features that you can learn by clicking on the link in the video description. But for now, the final step is to take your overlay output and combine it with your video to go live. Step five is to copy your output URL in order to combine your overlays with your live video in OBS. For the purposes of this beginner's guide, we're gonna be working with OBS, an encoder software that you can download for free in order to combine your live video with these prepared overlays. Find a free OBS download link in the video description. First, grab your output URL from the share menu. Then navigate over to OBS. In OBS, you'll want to have two layers, your live or pre-recorded video layer and your overlay layer. Add a live video layer by selecting video capture device and completing the on-screen instructions. or add a pre-recorded video by dragging and dropping your video file into the Scenes panel. Then hit Command or Control F to fit the video to frame. Once you've prepared your video layer, create a brand new browser layer. This will serve as your singular overlay layer. Paste the output URL that you copied from Studio. Make sure to specify the width and height of your overlay layer, like 1920 by 1080. Hit OK, and there you have it. Your overlays are on top of the video of your choosing. 
Now you can send this to any live stream destination of your choosing and operate your overlays in real time with Studio. Note that if you're already using another encoder in your production workflow, click on the link in the video description to learn how to use singular overlays with the software that you're familiar with. If you're interested in some more advanced features in Singular, such as building custom overlays in Composer, check out a link in the video description. Thanks for watching and welcome to Singular.